Hello everyone and welcome back to the Eldog 3D Tips blog. Today I'm going to be going over some of the basics of Maya Muscle. So here is my yellow dog rig and as you can see it's already uh, rigged quite nicely um, and to do any sort of Maya Muscle work you need a fully rigged character with all the weighting sort of already taken care of. It's basically to enhance the rig and to add some extra deformations and follow through effects. So as you can see there's already quite a nice deformation happening on this hind leg. So today we're actually going to talk about how we can use Maya Muscle to add jiggling effects. So simulating the effects of jiggling muscle when a animation happens. So first thing we need to do is go to Windows, Settings and Preferences and Plugin Manager and make sure we've got MayaMuscle.mll loaded and you can even auto load it if you're going to use it again in the future. So the first thing we need to do is look at the local rotation axis of the joint that we're going to add the muscle to. So I'm just going to put x-ray joints on and I'm going to go ahead and just select this top leg joint and what we're looking for is the axis which points down the joint. So to see that more clearly we can go to um, display um, and then go to transform display and local rotation axis and you'll see that that's now labeled so it's the x-axis which points down the joint and you're probably wondering why we've just done this but it will become apparent in the next step so the next step um, we need to select our skinned geometry so in this case I'm just selecting the main mesh and I'm gonna go to deform muscle skin setup and convert smooth skin to muscle system and it's gonna ask you whether you want to disable your existing skin cluster um, I always find that it's best to just disable this for now, but you can delete it if you want. But if you just disable it, then you can re-enable it again later if you need to make any tweaks. So the first window which pops up, it's going to ask you which axis points down the joint. And we have just found out that it's the x-axis, so we can go ahead and click that. So now it's going to run through this process of um, applying capsules to every joint in our rig. And it does this because Maya Muscle needs capsules to be able to work properly. Um, and capsules are basically just pieces of like null geometry which go around the joints. It doesn't affect the way the rig works, but these need to be there in order for Maya Muscle to work properly. So once that's run through, you'll see that there are these sort of nerves primitives um, stuck around the joints. And as you can probably notice, um, on one side they look right and on the other side they're flipped. And this is just down to because when we set the rig up, we mirrored the joints on the other side over. To fix this, you can just select the capsule and go into its attributes and change the capsule axis to negative x-axis. So I'm not going to go through the whole rig right now and do this because I'm only going to be working on one leg for this tutorial. There are scripts that people have made to completely flip the other side of the rig for you. But I find with quite a simple rig like this one, you can just flip them by hand in probably the same amount of time. So Maya classifies these capsules as locators, so if you wanted to hide them in your viewport, you can just turn locators off and you can see your nice clean rig again. So to help us down the line, I'm going to apply a little bit of animation to this leg, just so that we can skip through the timeline later and see how the muscle's working. So I'm just going to put a keyframe on frame 1 and copy it, and I'm going to go to frame 10 apply um, a keyframe and then paste my keyframe from frame 1 back in on frame 12. So we've just got this quite violent sort of leg shake and this kind of animation should be ideal for showing the jiggling effect of a muscle. So from this point we need to select our geometry again, go to deform, muscle, simple muscles and um, muscle builder. So here you're going to get this little window and it's going to ask you for your attach objects which are going to be our joints. So for this one I'm going to select the top of the knee, um, so just selecting that and you'll see these little arrows next to the text field, if you just click that it will bring your joint into the text field and I'm going to get the ankle joint and bring that into the attach object too and I'm going to click build and update and you'll see we've got this sort of visual representation of the muscle and the muscle's not here yet, this is just a guide for the muscles. So what we need to do is bring the muscle back into the position where you would expect a calf muscle. So if you just press F on these windows in the cross section tab, um, it will bring them up to full screen mode. And these represent the cross sections of the muscle. So if you select them, you can actually drag the muscle in the viewport back to where you think it should go. And this can be a little bit tricky to set up. I highly recommend spending a bit of time more time than I'm going to spend um, setting these up um, and getting them to look perfect. I'm just going to set these up quite quickly for demonstration purpose, but um, all you're looking for is the basic shape of the calf muscle or of the muscle of the creature that you're rigging. It does help to study some anatomy um, and get some image reference off Google or things like that. Um, and you can actually press F8 and select these just like you would any other nerves 
um, curve. So you, you might find you have to go in and out of component mode by pressing F8 to select a different curve. Um, but this will help you just get better control of um, where the curve is positioned and you can actually scale it and um, move them up and down using the component mode. So mine's not looking perfect at the moment but it'll probably work just fine for this tutorial. In fact I'm just going to move this center muscle a little bit um, out and possibly a little bit up um, to get the shape a little bit nicer. And it does pay to get these looking right as you can't really go back to them afterwards. So once you've got these looking okay, go over to the finalize tab in the muscle builder and this is where we convert our um, guide into an actual working muscle. So once we're happy, we can click convert to muscle and it's going to ask you a name for this muscle. So name it something meaningful. So I'm going to call mine um, muscle underscore uh, left rear and calf and hit OK. And that's going to generate the muscle for us. So we can actually play this back now and see just what's happening with this. And straight away it's going to work. You're going to get the jiggling effect. But as you can see, it doesn't look right just yet. So this is where we go to the Muscle Parameters tab and we can set up just how jiggly the muscle is. So there are a lot of parameters here which you can look into, but we're just going to look at the jiggle presets for this tutorial. So a light jiggle is um, its sort of how light the muscle is. A lighter muscle is going to jiggle less and a heavier muscle is going to jiggle much more and much slower. So I think a medium is probably going to look just fine for this tutorial. Um, so I'm quite happy with the way that's looking right now. So we can actually just close out of this muscle builder tab and our muscle is almost ready to be applied to the rig. So what we need to do now is go to show and locators and this is very important because we need to paint the weight of this um, muscle onto the rig and we can't do that without the capsules visible. So to begin painting the weights onto the rig we need to select the geometry first and we need to go to deform and we need to go down to our muscle toolkit and go to paint muscle weights and actually we can't do this just yet what we actually need to do first is connect the muscle to the rig and to do that we need to first select the muscle and select our um, piece of geometry second um, and it can be a little bit tricky um, maybe you'll have to go into template mode um, but there we go, we've got the muscle uh, selected first and our geometry selected second. So now we can go to deform muscle and we need to go to um, where we need to go to muscle objects and connect selected muscle objects. And it's going to bring up this window talking about a sticky bind maximum distance. And this is just the distance which the muscle can influence. So we can just click auto calculate and it does a great job of doing this for us. And with this taken care of, now we can paint our skin weights. So we select our geometry and go to deform, uh, go to our muscle toolkit and we need to go to paint muscle weights. And if you go right down to the bottom, it will usually be around here. So muscle left rear calf, that's where it is. And what we need to do is turn our operation to replace. And we can change the weight here. So I'm going to put 0.1 for now. And I'm going to begin going around the outer vertices that I want to be influenced by this muscle. So just going around, um, setting the boundaries of where this muscle can influence. And we'll work inwards. So I'm just going to use this weight of 0.1 to set the outer boundaries. And um, we're going to be increasing this weight and working inwards. So just sketching around all the vertices we want to see on our outer bounds. And now we can turn the weight up a little bit. So I'm going to put this to 0 0.4 and I'm going to go to the next loop of vertices. So I'm just going to gradually work inwards. And this is basically saying how much these vertices are going to be influenced by the muscle. So a value of 0 0.4 means that it's only taking 40% of the influence of the muscle. So I'm going to put the weight up to a full one now and do the final inner loop of these uh, vertices. So these vertices are going to be fully influenced by the muscle object. So I'm quite happy with that. That looks neat enough for me. And now we can see this in action. So I'm going to skip to frame one and just hit play. And you can see those vertices are being affected by the jiggle um, follow through animation of the muscle. So it might not be that clear in this animation. So I'm just going to apply some extra animation to the leg to more clearly show what's happening. So I'm just going to bring the leg back up again um, on frame 16 and set a key there. And I'm just going to play this through um, to show you what's happening. I'm actually just going to solo the geometry so you can see more clearly. But as you can see, it's given us this really nice follow through animation of the calf for free. We don't have to 
manually keyframe anything. It's just going to work out that jiggle for us. So there you have it. That is how you set up very basic muscles in Maya. Um, they really do enhance pretty much any rig that you're going to be working on. So I hope that's helped. I hope this is going to enhance your future rigs. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more 3D tips. Cheers. Cheers.